Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to West of Loathing. This this feels almost like end of the game-ish. Well, I've got 60s in my stats, that should be enough. The skull above the door screams password, unfortunately you don't know the password. Oh, I came all this way for nothing? Do I really have to... Quest items. God, I got a lot of these I should sell. What is this? Oh, right, right, right. I know that. I completely blanked on that. Where's the mushroom? Where's the necromancy journal? Well, hold on. I wanted to read it. I thought it would be more. Fish from the Necromancer's Tower results in you finding the Necromancer's Tower, though how do you get in? Is there more to this? I kind of figured this would be the... I was all ready for this whole big fight. It says I should know it. Necromancer Journal. Because it says you should get the password and... I got that one. Sticky note. Dave, Yard Fort, All Dead in the Knapsack, Old Mission, Catacombs 2, Reboot Hill, Military Cemetery, Buffalo Pile, Shroom Cave. Did I get something and not read it? Hold on a second. I may have overlooked something. It would be, I imagine, quest items. Oh, where is this supposed to go? North. I should check that out, too. Uh, Ghostwood... Da -da 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 -da. Rifle Digit of Fort All Dead. Oh. Oh, damn it. I hate when it closes the whole menu. Map. I did that already. Did that. Necromancer Journal. Picture of Mary Stearns. Lemons. Sticky note. Oh. Abracadaver. Oh. I missed that. There's a click inside. Is the door inside the door as it unlocks? Oh. Some strange indecipherable ruins. Ruins. Nothing weird about that. I'm not gonna drink. For oh. You're not getting past these guys without a fight. How many... Oh, it's a lot of them. They have a lot of health. They have a lot of health. They have so much health. Oh, no. That might be a sign of terrible things to come. Uh, although, maybe I'll get some gold teeth out of this? Okay, let's... If I get lucky, I might be able to take them all out in two turns. Oh no! Oh no! They're very strong! This may have been a mistake. Bill! Well, bye Bean. Well, thank you for being a target, I guess. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Uh, Bill? If you'd be so kind to... Oh, I might kill a few of them with this, actually. Ooh, I killed all but four of them, it looks like. You leave Bill alone. Leave me alone. 
Oh, you can't actually hurt me. My stats are so above and beyond my team. Bill, I don't think you can actually kill anyone. You're just going to lower that guy's health. Yep. Well, now we're down to the regular old kill business. As long as they can't buff each other. <laughs> Bill literally can't kill them, huh? Uh, how many big fights are there like this? Just while well, I have the page open. A tough skeleton. Oh. Is that really it? Just one fight? Oh. Okay. Never mind. It's just a really hard fight in the beginning and then some other smaller fights? Maybe? I don't know. I didn't want to read too much about it. Wow. You single-handed defeated all eight of those skeletons. Hey! I mean, you single-handed defeated all nine of those skeletons. You gained 540 XP. Okay, me thinks that me I have a th I Whoa! Ah, oh, man, I want to get these going. But I also should... For combat right now, I should be focusing on all of these. I'm going to upgrade the Blizzard. Or should I upgrade Hellbender, actually? That'll globally increase my damage. Yeah, give me Hellbender. Okay. Some strange, undecipherable ruins. Well, there's a big old pillar of skulls blocking your path. There's bound to be one of these somewhere in here somewhere, right? Excuse me, fellas, I need to get past here. The skulls hiss and chitter and giggle at you. So that's a no then. Al Fox in five. You carefully inspect the pillar of skulls, then grab one near the bottom by its eye sockets and yank it out of the pile. The entire stack collapses like a grocery store soup can pyramid in a zany sitcom scene. This made the skulls scuttle roll away to hide in the walls. Does that give me enough to level up another skill? It sure did. Ooh, bean golem, my love. Or do I increase northern blizzard? Bean golem's getting killed right now, and I don't think one more level up will change. Let's do blizzard. Wow. I might even hit the third it. Oh. Thump and smash. These two skeletons have their names written on their foreheads so they won't forget them. Actually, wait. Maybe they each have the other's one's name. Okay, I'm still faster than them. That's good. Oh. I didn't realize how good he... Buffalo 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 Bill is great for bosses because he takes half their health. Why did you take the weaker one's health first? Okay, buff. Bean. More. I've got 92 mysticality. Shields up. Winter. Wow, I actually killed one of them. Bye, Bean. Oh, never mind. You took that like a champ. Oh, but you can't. You're too weak. Bean, you're too weak. I'm going to do tremendously terrible things to this man. Bye, Thump. Give me some gold teeth. No. With a thump and a smash, the two behemoths fell. How many more fights? Oh, this might be final boss-ish. Are you a person or a skeleton? You approach the throne and the withered husk sitting on it. Unbelievable. All that killing, all that horror, and this is what's behind it? He tries to speak to you, but all that comes out is dust. Oh, do I have to destroy him? You puff a breath at the necromancer and he crumbles to powder. His crown hits the ground and shatters into a thousand pieces. Well, so much for that and good reason. Riddance. Oh. That went unexpectedly smooth. So what am I? I got a thousand... Well, Bean Golem? It's up between you and Dickerin, if I'm totally honest. And I think I'm going to pick you. Dickerin can wait. Someone's a large Bean Golem. Yeah, so now I'll... I think I'll upgrade Dickerin next. Safe Kraken can wait, I think. 
and I'll start working on these. Yeah, I think I should get everything to 11, because that seems to be where things cap. Can I talk to my buddy now that we've... Oh, this is pretty funny that the final guy was just like... So withered from being a necromancer, he just puffed into a cloud of smoke. I'm not going to drink the blood. I wonder if you could... Huh, that's one necromancer won't be causing any more trouble. Not unless he can raise himself from the dead. Right? Uh, is that a possibility? I don't think so. Probably not. That's called a lich, boys. And that's a thing. Alright, let's go to... Redwood. I'm just... I'm, I want to follow the compass now. Okay, Curly's compass was a quest item. South, sort of north, north-esque. Okay. Keep going north. Uh, the curious cops. Oh, that... The necromancer literally got easy. It started off at the hardest point and just got easier as he went up the tower. North, northwest. Okay. The postal way station. Oh, another El Vibrato? I'll take it. These things might be worth experience. Well, you're dead. Good fight. Ooh, lots of goodies. Due north. Oh, is it at is it at the ranch that got blown up? A lightning snake? I'm getting all sorts of snakes now. Here. I'm also tearing through encounters now. I got, what, 2,000 experience from the Necromancer's Tower? Electric Snakeskin. What does that do? Have I gotten that one already? I might have gotten that one once already. I did. Okay. Uh, the compass, though. I have too many items. It's really struggling to load. The compass needle's pointing straight north, and if you pace back and forth a little bit, you can see it actually move. You're very close. There's nothing north of the ranch but woods. Do you want to follow the compass? Yes. What is this? Ooh, Aspens. Look under it, 50 muscle. I have that. You lift up the corner of the entire cairn. There's some kind of machine buried under it. Curly's auto gyrotheodolite. You get the sense you won't need Curly's company anymore, so you buried under the cairn, if you say so. Well, what is this now? The engraving on this mean machine says it was manufactured in January of 1995. It must be a typo. Uh, engravio? This machine looks complicated. Its main feature is a column of four little lights. Right now, all lights are dark. There's a label on the back that says maximum effective depth 4 kilometers. 4k meters. 4.0k meters. Maybe it's supposed to be used in a mine or a cave? Also, what's a meter? Excellent question. Okay, where... Just thinking, what's like a deep mine? This one's pre Madness Maw Mine is pretty deep. I mean, there's only a few of those anyways. I can just kind of... Let's see. Like, Let me go in. Yeah, because this one had like three or four floors. Two of the lights are... <gasps> this is the place. I d oh, it's good. I cleared it out then. Oh, so there is something here. This felt so like anticlimactic. Three lights. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, its main feature is that all the four lights are lit, and the little bobbly antenna things on top are vibrating and pointing to a spot on the wall of the mine. The rock there does look a little weak. Dig out the wall. This machine looks complicated. Its main feature is a column of four. Da -da -da -da. You walk to the spot indicated pick it away at it. You break through into a hidden chamber, but unfortunately you bury the auto gyrotheodolite under some rubble in the process. Ooh. Well, what have we here? Looks like the original way in and out collapsed some time ago. Left half of Curly's map. 
it's half a treasure map. It's the half with the X on it, so it tells you where the treasure is, but it's missing the half with the beginning of the dotted line, so you don't know where to start. It's half a map, uh... Which is to say it's not useful at all, and it'll probably fall on your face and embarrass yourself if you try to use it. On the back of the map, you see the following is written. Dear Treasure Seeker, the other half of this map is in possession of my confidant, Holloway. Curly. We've heard of Holloway before, haven't we? His hideout? He's in mind, he's in tequila. A lead pie. Looks like that pie shooting goblin got here first. What? Ooh. This pie has been shot so many times that its filling is now 100% bullets. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I have 455 experience. I want to level up Dickering one more time. Although, if it's just for discounts, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I will focus on upgrading these. Well, I'll get another AP. These will go up as well. Alright, so now I need to find a place. I want some gold teeth. Where did... Uh, I think Reboot Hill? Actually, I bet there's instructions for this kind of thing online. What else did I need to do? Tooth. Uh, oh, there's two things you can make. What the hell's crawling on my hand? Oh, there we go. There's a whole guide for XP and item farming. Let me just control F, find a page, cold tooth. Oh, they actually recommend doing it in the Daveyard. Really? Okay, other places include the snakes and the cows. Wasn't there a place though? Wait, there was a place... It was a fort, and there was like a bunch of... No, was it fort? It might have been like Fort All Dead or something, now that I think about it. There's like a bunch of skeletons in a pit. Let's check that, hold on. What? Human Shaped Cloud? Oh. Someone ate way too much Limburger cheese and broke so hard it blasted out their soul. Wow, you have no health, dude. Goodbye. Spooky and stench resistance. Quicker by Limber and Odorgeist. Yeah, I don't want ectoplasm. I think it was Fort All Dead. Like at the end there was like a pit you could jump into. I bet these guys would get... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Hop in. There's two boys. They don't seem to have much health. This will kill them both. This might not be the best place for experience. Silver bullets? Wait, you can get silver bullets just farming these dudes? Hold on, I gotta see something. This might not be the best place for it. Uh, okay, I can still kill them all. Are they only dropping ammo types? Ah, they only drop military loot, I guess. Although every time I fight, there seems to be another one. They're easy to get through, though. An old patrol cap. Oh, wait. Didn't I trade one of those away? Will there be five of them now? Oh, he looks important. Never mind. I should probably be doing this just to be sure. Wow. That's probably 100 XP right there. Alright, let's see if it changes. Is five where it caps out? Oh, no, now there's six. 
just keeps filling up, huh? Will it be seven? There are sure enough seven. I want to get to nine on this. They don't seem to be getting more health, though. They just seem to be getting more troops. Lots of bullets. Is it eight? It sure is eight. Oh, what? I wonder who the ninth guy is. Is he going to be special? I think I need to go to the Dave Yard if I want teeth. And then I should probably go to... <gasps> One survivor? I should probably go... Instant grits. I should probably go... I guess... Oh, what's wrong with that guy in the front? A shot to hell skeleton. I guess an El Vibrato place would be the best. I mean, although this gives a lot of experience at this point. 108 XP, and that's a pretty easy fight. Does it get harder? Nope, this seems to be where it caps out. Oh, wait, I haven't seen my new bean. He's got a little hat! Just, just to be sure, let me go full on out on these guys in case their health went out. No, it's... <laughs> Boom. Oh, my bean is pissed. Okay, well, the experience from there is good. Let's go to the Dave Yard. If I... so... What? A solitary skeleton? Oh, he's got a piece of wood. And, like, no health. A mindless skeleton. Okay. Skull chips. Um. They probably need, like, 30 something gold teeth in total from the, for that lady. Okay. So, a whole bunch. Does this get harder, too, the more you do it? Oh, you guys have no health. I might not... This might not take that long. Okay. Skeleton bones, skeleton chips, a whole bunch. The night... The amount doesn't seem to be changing, and they're... Oh! They might slowly be getting... They might slowly be getting more health. Oh, is the is a gold tooth a really low drop rate? Is that what this is? Okay, so there it does look like their stats are slowly increasing over time. Oh, there's a gold tooth. Okay, so this I can just farm them. I have a how did I get that much experience already? Jesus. Okay. More HP. My speed keeps going up. Meat gains, item finding. Actually, I should be upgrading that one first. If I'm gonna upgrade everything to 11, because that'll get me that'll get me the uh, teeth faster, right? Oh, there we go. Now we're getting gold teeth. Now we're getting some gold teeth. So what would be the best... Oh, wait, maybe the, the Hellstrom Ranch place might be the best for experience. That had... That had... That seemed like it could escalate more and more. The thing is, this goes... You can go through this so quickly... That this might actually be faster, because I'm getting 30... That's not what I wanted. 30 so quick. How come I only made... Oh, no, I made two stacks. Just one is in front of the other. I still have to go through the, to the third area. I don't even know what that's like yet. There's more gold teeth. So... Hmm. It's going to take a while for these guys to actually become dangerous. 
it seems. Okay, just keep doing what I'm doing. What are the... I forget. She took bones, loose teeth, but she didn't take chips or whatever they were, right? Actually, these guys are not getting stronger, are they? Or no, she didn't take regular teeth? What was it she didn't take? She took chips to make the ring, bone to make the swords, and she needs gold for headwear, it seems. I didn't even actually see what I get from it, but... You needed like 23 for one and 10 for the other? I'm almost halfway. Not really. Actually, I am almost halfway. So I've just gotta... Yeah, I'll just take these guys, deal with them, then I'll head over to the cows, deal with them. And so... I think by the next episode, I'd like to have these all at 11. I mean, I guess I might as well just get everything cranked up, right? Maybe do some stuff with poker? I don't know. It's... I mean, it seems feasible that I could get that high. Well, really, for XP and speed, the Fort All Dead was going pretty well. Because I was getting, what, 180 per fight there? And I was one-shotting most of that group at a time. Hmm. It's, it's, it's tough to decide, really. Let me do, okay, I'm going to do one more fight here. I can come back here whenever I want. Okay, let's go back to Hellstrom. Well, it really was just right next to the Necromancer's Tower, huh? No encounter? No. Oh. Alright, ring the fight. So I fought one last time. I'm still fighting one. I can kill you in one shot. How much XP does that give? Yay, 40, I got tainted milk. Gross. Still just one. Not a lot of health. Does it do something different? No, it seems like just... Is it really not going to get harder? Oh, it's a different enemy now. Oh, is it just going to... Is it going to keep... Is it going to keep going up in tier? Like, now I've got floating skulls instead of the regular cows? I don't get much more experience, though. Ah, there we go. Two cows. So they have 111 health. Can I one-shot them with this? Ooh, no, I can't. Uh, actually, maybe I can do... Maybe if I do this and then I deal with Pete with the spooky thing? Actually, I can just literally hit him with this. Okay, so that's probably worth 80 experience. Tainted beef steak? Ooh. Ah, okay. More and more enemies. Got it. Or more and more and more difficult enemies. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't risk. I shouldn't get cocky, cocky with this kind of thing. Let's see. You have ten. I'll do spooky because that's really freaky to look at. Spooky damage. Oh, these also give you meat. I didn't even occur to me. Three cows. work my way down the line. I wish I could reorganize my skills here. Okay, Pete. That thing has 15 health still, so I can't kill it. Oh, 
Oh, sure, these ca- Ooh. These cows can go whichever direction they want. But when I tried to do it with my other, that other minigame thing, I couldn't do it. Okay, so I see that this, this does keep getting harder. Although at this point, it's still better just to do things in in Fort All Dead. That's a much easier fight, and I guess still get 180 experience from it. I don't know, it's... Plus, I might even get silver bullets out of that. I don't know if I need any cow parts at this point. Oh, my bean does not care about your attacks. I'm happy I leveled him up. Oh. Yeah, so right now these give me 120 and it takes two turns. Ooh. 915 experience though. Wait, um, nope, wrong button. Let me increase glam. Never mind. Oh, you need a lot of experience to get to 11 with these things. Oh no. These on the other hand will not be that bad. No, it seems like it caps out at three. I still think Fort All Dead is much better. That's because I could I could equip stuff that gives me more spell damage just for grinding, and really just take them out in one hit. No, I don't. This is not. This is not worth it. I mean, I guess if I want meat, sure, but I can just sell the things I get from Fort All Dead. How did you do that? Uh oh, Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill can't even hit this guy. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to the Dave Yard, I think. Work on them gold teeth. I'll do it off screen, too, so... Save you the agony of watching me grind. No encounters. Hmm. Well... I'd say that's it for now. We took care of the necromancer relatively quick, uh, quickly. We found a piece of the treasure map. That was cool. But yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.